I think head and neck cancer um, is one of the most devastating disease because uh, not only are you giving your patients the diagnosis of cancer, but it affects every major function, swallowing, breathing, eating, and then it's uh, cosmetically disfiguring as well. I'm Sherry Ann Nathan, and I'm a head and neck surgeon at um, LSU Health Sciences Center in Shreveport. People have still not heard about the association of HPV with head and neck cancer, um, and especially in males. So it comes as a shock, I think, to most of my patients. And I say to them, you know, I think I have, um, and I think I know why you probably got the cancer, especially if I see patients where the tumor is in the tonsil and base of tongue, because these are the two areas that HPV-associated cancers are occurring in um, these young men. And so I say to them, it's the same virus that caused cervical cancer um, in women and it affects the head and neck. In fact, uh, by the year 2020, it is believed that head and neck cancer, HPV-associated cancers, will overtake cervical cancer. I'm very frustrated that our vaccination rates are low. Cancer is a devastating disease, and they could prevent this by giving their kids the HPV vaccine. I often say, as a parent myself, could you face your child if your child at the age of 40 or 50 develops a head and neck cancer, knowing there was a vaccine there that could have prevented the cancer? I think that would be a really difficult uh, you know, situation if your child then asked you, hey mom, you, know, you knew there was a vaccine, why wasn't I given it?